Why is that inappropriate? You're just trying to get <laughs> My wife's pastor growing up <laughs> watches this stuff. Great. It's hot. Right. So we thought we need to beat the heat, as they say. We need to right. cool down. We're gonna show you- Slap it silly. We're gonna go through some pre-made bourbon or whiskey cocktails that we were able to pick up at the store. So this is no effort on your part. Right. This is something, it's, it, most of them are in a can, so you could take them to the pool, no glass involved. Zero work for me because you picked them all up. I went to the store, I right. placed them in my fridge to right. cool off. Sometimes freezer can mess with the uh, consistency. But it's, you know? it's alcohol, it, alcohol don't freeze. Not all of them are that high of proof. On a scale from one to 10, Will, like how many summer days are you like, man, I wish I had a cocktail in a can? On a scale of one to 10, 10. Really? Yeah, every day. <laughs> every single okay, day. so you remember when we did that daggum, uh, what was that? Is it a porch pounder? Yeah, the canned wine. Right, this is Chardonnay. This is a different, uh, this is not wine. First one. First one. This is Ugh. Jim Beam Ginger Highball. This is bourbon and ginger ale. It says made with bourbon whiskey. It's 5% alcohol. The folks over at Jim Beam actually sent us this one. Yeah. So I didn't have to pick this one up at the store at all. Do you serve this up? Oh. oh that. This looks like champagne. It looks like ginger ale. Well, right. Cheers. What do you mean, right? That's what it is? I mean, they both, yeah, this is bourbon and ginger ale in a cocktail. Can. That's a highball? Well, why have I been asking for it? Give me Makers and Ginger. It needs a little bit more sweetener to me. Oh, see, I think it needs a little bit more burp. <laughs> well, yes, that is an easy add-on. It tastes great. Here, this is great. I would drink the heck out um, of this. Put some knob in it. <laughs> put some knob in it? Where's my knob? <laughs> I'm just gonna do what Will said. Oh, yeah. Now that looks way better. Game day mix. No, you're just gonna have to shoot that one. That is yeah. not. Yeah, I think they're. they're I feel like they. I feel good. like they tested they that scientifically. Yeah, and they. It. That one, it's five percent alcohol. It tastes great. I would drink that at the pool, no questions asked. It's about like drinking like a Bud Light or something. You know, it's like five percent alcohol is not that much alcohol. You can sit on it all day. Well, you could throw a hundred twenty proof or topper floater on top of that, and now you're yeah, now you're playing the wind, you, Dad Gummy. You get too much alcohol though, and then you're sitting on a situation where it's uh, uh, you drunk too fast at the pool, bud. So this is Jack Daniel's whiskey and seltzer. Oh no, I it's don't another, like seltzer. It's another five percent alcohol. But not flavored, just whiskey flavored, and uh, let's see. How I feel like I should out. add add the brand of, of whiskey to every one of these. So this one is a lot clearer, obviously, and to get five percent alcohol, uh, okay, it smells like Jack Daniels. It smells just like Jack it does. I mean, yeah, this smells like a lemon drop shot. Does it have any citrus in it? I don't know. It smells like it. Let's see if it has any citrus in it. It's not terrible. Okay. I was expecting more bite from the seltzer and it's not that. Let me tell I, you I something. Would, I'd probably drink this too. If you put a shot of Jack in that with it, yeah, it feels like college in a good way. Probably aren't going to class tomorrow. Okay. I just want to follow that up after our college video. I'm, I'm not disappointed in that actually. So I'd probably buy one of those again. Comes in a four pack for 10 bucks. All right, next we have one that I don't know how this one's gonna go. What do you mean? This is... I didn't know how the first two were gonna go. This is uh, The Club. Oh, I thought it said Clue. No, The Club. I was about to say, Will. Manhattan. With, Will with the seltzer in the nook. <laughs> Hey! I got him with that so one. So this is the club. You gotta Manhattan. be weird to get. It Will. says made with premium blended whiskey and vermouth. Holy the whiskey God. is in it! Exclamation point. Hang on, seventeen percent. Yeah, no, this is now, but it's a little proof. dude. It's so, a communion cup. Is the root a communion commune? Yes, they both have the same root. <laughs> it's probably communis. Latin roots, baby. That is not, is that a real word? Communis? Not in English, but in Latin. That's like that word weenus. 
This smells better than a Jaeger bomb. It's 17%. Here, let's go. Um, it's not terrible. It's definitely not terrible. I've had worse. Does this have like... Okay, I tasted the ver vermouth, but right, it's, it's a Manhattan in a in a can. It's a Manhattan cocktail. We need to try this up. We did. We literally did. Oh my gosh. If I was hot and sweaty, I think this might make it worse. Make you turn. I don't know why, but I feel like you're going to have a bad hangover from this. What, it dude, just feels like you're going to have a When you go to the club, <laughs> chances are yeah. you hung over AF. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah, I, I'm i probably a pass on this. The flavor's not terrible, but just something, it's a little chemically. And it doesn't sit well with me. Pew! Oh, Pew. yeah, baby. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Here hey, we go. Hey, I know hey. this one's good, Will. Well, I know this one's. Oh, I have wait. two different things going on. I just grabbed oh. them because they're little cans. It's fun. So I have the 84 proof Rock and Rye. This is by Slow and Low Hochstetters. You've seen them. They do the vatted ryes. They have a 16 year old uh, rye. Mm -hmm. Straight rye whiskey, raw honey, navel orange, rock candy, and bitters. Age dated? Nope. 84 proof though. This won't. It's got a weird freeze, cold. right? Uh, I don't know. I've never tried it. I mean, the can. Yeah, you might, could probably get it real. The cold. can might freeze. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look at that. Look at that can, baby. I've had this before, and I, I tend to like it. But we'll see if it, if it, it passes. The, right. Uh, well, we've got other things to compare it to cool at this point. Test. It smells good. Right very, now, we're gonna go ahead and say it. The highball's winning right now. Oh yeah, I for agree. sure. Yeah. Once again, it's it's a little too sweet for the pool. Flavor flavor great. Right. But probably a little too aggressive for the pool situation that we're talking about. It tastes cheap on the front, but that finish lands like a freaking champion. It's almost like a like an old fashioned made with rye finish. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's it's sugar and bitters and citrus <laughs> and you know Dad got me. I hate you sometimes. I know. Speaking of old fashioned, this is from the double. Uh, this is an old fashioned in a can. This is. Oh, that's post meridian. This is. You know of them? Yeah. This is in Atlanta, out of Atlanta. Atlanta's got a lot of things in it. Okay. You know, they got the film industry, post meridian. So this is the double old fashioned. It's uh, 74 proof. <laughs> Shake can. <laughs> Shake can. Post meridian sounds like. Like after, like after a, an apocalypse. Well, yeah. Is that what it means? Who's to say? What's meridian mean? Just the word meridian. Well, Mr. Diem, I'm guessing, is day. Mary. Oh, like a happy day? So, so after a happy day? It's like the sea, so it's after the sea day. Shake can, pour over ice. We don't have ice, but it is cold. It says, the cocktail that started it all. A double measure of bourbon meets bitters and sugar for a sacred blend of real history. Okay. This is made with three ounces of straight bourbon whiskey, four dashes of a blend of three bitters, Demerara syrup for a third of an ounce, and orange zest oil. I'm gonna shake it. Why do you it. have to shake it? It told me to. Cheers. I drink that. I like. I drink that as a cocktail. I like the spice. It tastes. Some, it's like a. Once it's like again, a, it's like a pumpkin thing. This, the double old fashioned by Post Meridian out of Atlanta, Georgia. Never had them before. Uh, just saw it at the liquor store today. I'd buy that and I would drink that and yeah. I put an orange peel and just throw it on throw a some on, on, on a rock. Yeah, uh, that is a really good old fashioned in a can. I, and I didn't love the front on the slow and low and this one, but then on the finish, that one landed like just a classic old fashioned for me, slight spice, but that second one, the old meridium or whatever it's called, what's it called? Old what? Po post meridium. What's well, it it's the double old fashioned. The double old fashioned, that the spice is memorable on the back. Yeah, end. yeah, it was actually I just tasted really good. I'm glad that they come in cans like this because I don't I don't think you could have I don't think you could tackle 12 ounces of that. No, no, and this I mean honestly It's very pumpkin. Both of these I would not say are really what we're going for with the cool off at the pool, but in a summer right. evening if you don't want to make a cocktail and you have these around pretty daggum good. This one right here is that's still in the lead. We're the Jim Beam Ginger is still in the lead for me. Me too. 
All right. You and I have different palettes. How do you spell palette? There, it depends on which one you're talking about. You know which one I'm talking about. No, I never know what you're talking about. All right, so next, this is another old fashioned pre-made. This one is not pool friendly. This one comes in. Oh yeah, you can't take that out of the in pool. In a glass bottle, but this is from On the Rocks Premium Cocktails. Here we go. Will, you cannot take this to the pool. No, it comes in a glass bottle. This is from It's a on glass bottle, but look. I know what to add to it if I need a little bit more kick. This one comes from On the Rocks Premium Cocktails, and it's an old fashioned made with Knob Creek. America. Uh, that's not, that's not bourbon. It has bourbon in it, it's a cocktail. I know, but I don't think you can go so this, full on uh, America cork pop if it's not like full on bourbon. On the Rocks Premium Cocktails is out of Bardstown, Kentucky, and it says staying true to the original recipe, we keep our old fashioned strong and simple using a generous pour of Knob Creek bourbon whiskey, bitters, cane sugar, orange cherry, and lemon zest. Bring the bar to you. So this is 70 proof, so it's the lower right. of the three old fashioned uh, iterations. Let's try, uh, try this one out. This one is the most bourbon flavored. It needs more bourbon. I do like the Knob Creek flavor. I can tell it's Knob Creek in there. I think that's good. This is also probably the more expensive of them, especially because you're getting- A lot. I'm trying to find the ounces on here. 375 milliliters. So this is a half a bottle. I would get a bunch of these little cans. I can have one or two. But if I have this, it's like, I'll probably open it because I want to drink. I don't feel like making it, but I don't know that I want to, if I'm going to drink multiple, I'll probably just bust out like a mixing glass and all the ingredients and make an old fashioned. You need to figure out how to get into a multiple situation. Yeah. Like regardless of your condition. Okay. If you just go solo on it, let's just say you just do one pour, right. is you're just going to get mad because everybody around you is doing multiples. We're talking about pool time. And honestly, I don't know that I'm taking an old fashioned to the pool. So here's our final cocktail in a can for the evening. And this one mm. is also from Jim Beam. Highball. So this is the classic highball. This is a bourbon and seltzer. So this is gonna be similar to what we had with the Jack Daniels, right. but. Except this one's more classic. This is Jim Beam. What does that mean? It is 105 calories. And it says it's uh, bourbon whiskey with natural flavors and seltzer water, has a hint of citrus, it's 5% alcohol. Okay. Oh wait. What did, I pulled my glass away as I was pouring. Okay. Oh wait. Oh, the nose. I'm getting a light. Oh. I'm like getting a light citrus. It's like, like, like it's, it's like a Sprite. It's, li yes. All right, let's go. That's the best one. That takes the cake. I'm taking these to the pool hang on. all day long. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's do the ginger one more time. We got a back to back because these are obviously the top two. Mm -mm. This is freaking murder, dude. It's so good. This. Jim Beam has slayed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me go ahead and tell you something. If you don't own this right now, ISO that crap all day long. Jim Beam. Also, though, this James one, Beeman. Both of these at the pool are going to be fantastic. I oh, love dude. these. They sent these to us. Thank you so much for sending them. But uh, they sent these to us? Yeah. I had no idea that they were going to win. And James Beeman coming in on that gum clutch. So, that's short. That's elongated for Jim Beam. Yeah. Should, uh, James E. Beam. Oh, um, Jim Beam me up, Scotty. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thanks for hanging with us. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Wait, the thumbs up and the like are the same thing. Subscribe, share this with your friends and family. Because the, la the last thing you want to do is not talk about this daggum freaking programming content yeah, yeah. at Thanksgiving dinner. Right, and this, by the way, gonna save your summer. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you something, okay? If you're like trying, you know, to hold hands with somebody, uh -huh. And you bring this to the pool, mission accomplished. Listen here, okay? If you have, if you were, to if you were into AIM, like AOL Instant Messenger back in the day, okay, and your name was like 
guitar chick for Jesus or Southern cow gal or whatever or uh, guitar punk in love, this is going to get you to where you need to be. Because this, this is built for a, for a daggum mid-30s human being if I've ever seen one. We know what we like. Daggum, this is good.